it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, September 3rd. So we have the moon in Virgo all day. Of course, we just had our new moon pop off in Virgo energy late last evening. So we will continue to feel the effects of this particular moon. And because it is the dark phase of the moon, there's no illumination in the sky. We're definitely still sitting in the funk. We're sorting through a lot of the irritations, the frustrations, the triggers, the activations that likely would have been coming at us here as we approach this new moon event. The moon in Virgo still focused on the problem so that we can try to fix it heal it resolve it we are definitely nitpicky we're all up in the headspace although our physical body definitely heavy definitely weighted if you haven't listened to this week's ascension forecast I'm going to recommend you do so just to understand where this energy is manifesting in the physical form but any time that we are the day after a moon event we're always a little bit hung over ish a little bit heavy a little bit weighted a little bit sluggish and still hella emotional. Even though we're trying to process and analyze it from a different perspective, we're not quite there just yet. This is also the last day that Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, will be in Gemini energy. He will be shifting into Cancer energy here on the 4th. There is an astro forecast for your listening pleasure. And of course, listen to your zodiac forecast for the month and download your Virgo season e-guide and capture where these energies are shifting. There are seven different aspects taking place here today. Five of them are going to involve the moon. So of course, as we've been exploring any time that a luminary or a planet is coming to the 29th critical crisis karmic degree of whatever sign it's leaving, we have some sort of interaction with Neptune because of course Neptune is retrograde in his place of power and this Pisces energy at the very ending degrees. So Mars is actually getting into the boxing ring. He's squaring off with Neptune and this does not feel good it highlights where it is that we're going through growing pains and at this particular juncture the pressure is still in the head Mars being in this Gemini energy especially rounding out this particular zodiac sign we have huge amounts of pressure on the head there is restlessness there's anticipation there's ants in our pants we want to decide we want to get on moving but of course there's confusion we don't know where we're going we don't know how to get there as of yet the details aren't as ironed out as we would prefer that neptune energy definitely trying to help us kind of remind ourselves what it is that we're fighting for what it is that we're working towards but at this particular juncture a square creates the tension and conflict really emphasizes the confusion taking place in our headspace The moon in Virgo energy going to make an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde now at the 29th critical crisis degree of Capricorn energy. So this is earth on earth action, which means that we're heavy, we're weighted, we're in our physical body, we're very aware of what's going on in our physical realm and where it is that major changes need to take place. Now, Pluto tends to take us deep in the psyche to examine programming, to examine conditioning, to see where it is that we need a better narrative, a better mind space on some of the topics and themes that now we're removing. Again, he's in Capricorn energy. This is our last hurrah to remove the structures, foundations, roles, responsibility, karmic chapters that we have been learning the hard way since 2008. Now, the Virgo energy, on the other hand, focuses in on the mental plane. So we are able, if we are willing to do a deep dive and get real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves, we are able to flip the script. We're able to see what needs to stay, what needs to go. We're able to make those adjustments in our headspace, first and foremost, our emotions secondary, because those two things need to be in agreement before we can take action and make moves in the physical realm. So, of course, there's an intensity there. Our headspace is very, very pressurized at this particular juncture by trying to decide what we have to remove in order to help free us to move on to new pursuits, new goals, new visions, new dreams. The moon in Virgo energy going to directly oppose Saturn. 
Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He is retrograde in Pisces energy. And of course, if you downloaded the moon guide for the new moon in Virgo or listened to the astro forecast, you would know that we were already in an opposition with Saturn. It's just becoming direct, meaning we were within orb. We were in the area in space where the tension, the conflict was being highlighted in order for us to strike a balance. But now we're reaching those exact oppositional degrees. So of course, this doesn't feel good. Saturn brings a little bit of a harsh reality check, especially because he's retrograde in this Pisces energy, trying to wrap up karmic cycles, trying to bring those endings and closures to a finality in order for us to start new, to make the adjustments, if you will, to our headspace, to our heart space and our physical realm in order to close the doors and in some cases nail those babies shut in order for us to again clear the space, clean the slate for us to build towards something new but we are definitely going to be sitting in the funk again reminder we are post lunar event meaning when you're kind of down when you're not feeling the best we have a habit to beat ourselves up and break ourselves down we do this in this particular energy as an awareness on where it is that we're resisting some of the changes that we know that we need to make. So this is going to bring in a whole bunch of weight where our roles or responsibilities to clean up is concerned because we got to get our shit together. It's time to get organized. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in Aries energy. This means that whatever little beat up session, bully session, we just kind of created within ourselves. Now we're picking ourselves up. Now we're dusting ourselves off and we're starting to realize that we got to give ourselves a little bit of credit where credit is due. We have grown. We have healed. We have come huge, huge, huge lengths from where it is that we were six months ago, even this time last year. And so now we're starting to reframe. We're starting to build ourselves back up in a much better, much stronger way. And we're feeling pretty optimistic and confident at this particular juncture that we have the right mind space. We have the right emotions to back up this major change that, of course, we want to make in the physical realm. The moon is then going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who is in Gemini energy. So Virgo energy, Gemini energy, ruled over by Mercury, who is still not clear from his post-retrograde shadow period. And of course, he's in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the Zodiac. So the square is creating tension and conflict. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're growing. We don't know our options. We don't know our opportunities. We're flip-flopping. This is going to intensify the headspace, really put us in a not-so-good situation where we're, again, beating ourselves up and breaking ourselves down. Spoiler alert, that's what Virgo energy does. It humbles you. And right now we're humbling ourselves. So we're not optimistic anymore. We're not confident. We don't even want to think about the future in the big picture because there's too much of a mess here in this present moment that we got to clean up, that we got to get organized before we can fully commit to initiating a new path, moving in a new direction, pursuing a new opportunity. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in her rulership and Libra energy is going to come up to the point where she's sitting on top of the south node, who of course is in Libra energy, which means that she's directly opposing the north node in Aries energy. So the north node in Aries is what we've been working on. It's the path that we need to get on. It's the direction forward that we need to be moving, independent, aggressive, initiating something of a new pursuit, new goal, new vision, new dream that is fulfilling new wants, needs, and desires of this new version of self. The south node in Libra energy is what we've been closing the door on. The south node is where we're coming from. We have the codependency perfected. We have the people pleasing skills perfected. We have the ability to put other people's dreams, goals, visions, wants, needs, and desires ahead of our own perfected, which means that we got to close the door on this one. We have to break out of old habits. We are in Virgo season. It is time to do better, time to be better. And right now we are going to have the want, need, and desire to fall back on old relationship dynamics, on old memories of relationship dynamics, we may even find ourselves wanting to run back to certain situations and circumstances that we just fought very hard to get away from. 
We have to learn to lean into the North Node in Aries, which is creating a little bit of frustration, a little bit of restlessness, a little bit of aggression in us, because again, we're stalled out. We're kind of getting sick of ourselves at this point. Our time, energy, and attention is so focused on the past at this particular juncture that we really need to give ourselves a good swift kick in the butt and start orienting to new wants, new goals, new needs, new desires. And so this is going to be a very difficult aspect for many people. And especially seeing that we are in the new dark phase of the moon, this is where all the funk comes up for review, for processing, for integration, so that we can let it go. We can release it. We can move on. So the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Virgo making a very harsh interaction with Chiron again. So as you've been seeing throughout the day, we get kind of influence with a lot of aggression, a lot of anger, a lot of frustration. We beat ourselves up, we break ourselves down, and then we're at the bottom of the barrel. Then we kind of shift moods, shift attitudes. We start building ourselves back up again just to kick ourselves back down. We do the cha-cha-cha. We get to learn where it is that we're blocking our own progress, blocking our own path. We realize where we're turning back, where we're kind of fixated in the past, where it is that we're losing our strength, our ability to stay focused on the future. And that's really getting on our nerves. Did you ever get to a point where you get on your own damn nerves? This is Virgo energy. So it makes sense that we're going to wrap the day up with a lot of not so nice words, narratives, views, towards ourselves. Again, Chiron is the image, our ego identity. And right now, again, because we're not feeling so confident, we're not feeling so optimistic, we are definitely being much harsher towards ourselves than we definitely need to be. We have a high potential for judgment, for criticism, especially when it comes to oneself. So we're going to sit in this funk. Again, we have to reach the bottom of the barrel before we get up, dust ourselves off and start building ourselves back up in a much better way.